All right, our, finally, we're going to talk about bias, variability, and shape. We can think of the true value of the population parameter as the bullseye on a target and the sample statistic as an arrow fired at the target. So again, if you're looking at our image right here of our targets, the bullseye itself is your population parameter and the arrow itself is your sample statistic. So remember, P for parameter for population, S for statistics for sample. Both bias and variability describe what happens when we take many shots at the target. Bias means that our aim is off and we consistently miss the bullseye in the same direction. Our sample values do not center on the, on the population values. So here we have an example of high bias and low variability. So we may not be near the population's parameter, but all of our samples are um, consistent with each other, so very low variability of the samples, but there's a some sort of discrepancy between the sample and the population itself. Okay, um, now let's talk about high variability means that our repeated shots are widely scattered on the target. Repeated samples do not give similar results. So here we have high bias, so we're really far from the uh, target, so we're not quite the population, and high variability. So this is saying that each of our samples has their own unique value or characteristics, and they're not really centered on each other. They're not really close. This is kind of, to me, this is kind of the worst one. At least here you've got low variability, so whatever is happening between your population and your sample, maybe you could play it out with more samples, maybe you could reshape your experiment, etc., 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 but your sample itself is, is worthwhile because you've got low variability. Here you've got low bias, uh, so that means you're, you're on point for your uh, population to be re relevant back to your sample, or vice, I'm sorry, your sample to be relevant back to your population. However, you've got some pretty crazy variability of the sample. This could be explained away with, you know, just doing so many samples that you start to see this variability disappear. It could also be, you know, an error inside your um, experiment. It could be bias. It could be so many different things. But of course, the ideal is no bias and low variability. Our sample matches our population and each sample matches itself. You know, our repeated values give similar results. And so that's kind of bias, variability, and shape. And of course, these will uh, uh, lend themselves to the shape and depending on whether you have high bias, low variability, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So finally, just as a wrap up, now can you distinguish between a parameter and a statistic? Remember P, population, uh, parameter, S, uh, statistic, and sample. Can you use the sampling distribution of a, of a statistic to evaluate a claim about the parameter? parameter? We did that at the very beginning. And can you distinguish amongst the distribution of a population, the distribution of a sample, and the sampling distribution of a statistic. Hopefully that image of all three showcased it for you. Can you determine whether or not a statistic is an unbiased estimator? Remember, that's a vocab word. In order to use an unbiased estimator, it has to match the mean of the sampling distribution itself. And finally, can you describe the relationship between sample size and variability of a statistic, and that goes back into um, our bias, variability, and shape. All right, I'll see you guys in class, and that's all we've got.